All right, so you can tell me like a little bit about who you are and... Uh... I'm John Davis. I'm from Grand Junction, Colorado. We're out putting a, uh, putting a face to a name, talking to people. Our goal is to go to every county in America. We've been a, we've been a little over 1,400 counties and we've got a, uh, a little over 1,800 left to go. We should finish up by the end of June. But uh, I've never been in politics in my life. I've been a self-employed home builder for 35 years. Six kids, four grandkids. But God spoke to my heart about a year and a half ago to do this, to run for president, so I'm out here being obedient. But we need to put God back in the heart of this country. You know, our, we're, we're morally bankrupt, we're spiritually bankrupt, and we're, you know, the economy's bankrupt. But we need to put God back in the heart of this country. What's your goal in running? You know, the goal is to, uh, somebody's got to fix this country. We can't leave it up to the politicians no longer. It's got to be we the people standing up saying enough's enough. And it's going to be a person that uh, has worked all of his life, that understands how small businesses work, how the uh, average worker, what he has to do to, you know, meet the bills at the end of the month. It needs to be somebody from the working class. He understands what's going on. And, and, uh, but we've been relying on the politicians too long, and look where it's got us. You know, we're $14.5 trillion, trillion in debt, and we're not going to be able to pay the interest in another 10 years if we keep going the way we're going. We need to have a balanced budget amendment, but, you know, the government don't create jobs. It's free enterprise that creates jobs, but we've got to untie their hands. We've got to reduce uh, the amount of regulation that's on the backs of free enterprise and, and let them uh, pick up the you know, hire people. The small business is a backbone of this country. They make up like 93% of all businesses in America. So if we just let them do what they know what to do, they'll pull us out of this recession. Oh, what kind of response are you getting on the road? And how are you know, we've yeah. talked to tens of thousands of people. People are concerned. They're fearful of the future. But when we go in to talk to them, they, you know, the walls are up and said, who are you? We've never heard of you before. And that's true. Uh, we don't have celebrity status or a pile of money or name recognition, so we're earning the right to be a candidate. But the walls are up, and they. But once I start telling them about myself and where I'm from and what I do, they said, "Hey, we could get behind you. We like the idea that you've never been in politics before. We like the idea that you're a small business owner." So when some people say, "Well, you don't have a chance," I said, "I absolutely do have a chance, because there's nobody out there right now that they're really wanting." You know, there, yeah, there's a bunch of them out there, but uh, when the polls say that the top three are even with Obama and if the election was held today, I'm thinking they don't want those guys out there. So they're looking for somebody else. So we're going to go out and just, like I say, go to county to county, visit as many people as we can, because everybody's important to us, not just the big cities. And uh, the, the uh, country needs uh, somebody that uh, comes from the working class. To take care of this country. What's your strategy to win? You said you think that you're obviously doing this. You think it's possible? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, they haven't elected somebody yet, and there's no front runner. People are looking for something different other than a politician. So, how are you funding your campaign? Well, we're funding most of it ourselves, and it's tough to do since you know being a builder and the economy in our and our town's down 90 percent. Our new home permits are down 90 percent. We've lost 90% of our builders, so man, it's tough to, to finance it. But when God calls you to do a, to go on a journey, you know you don't say, "Well, how do I pay for it?" or anything. You just God will provide, and He has so far. Oh, before I before I go, uh, well, you said you have already talked to some people here. What have you done so far today when you're when, in Chuckby? Uh We've talked to quite a few people. We. One guy I talked to for quite a while was a contract painter contractor, and he's staying busy. But he said he has a lot of friends that went out of business, went bankrupt, and it's kind of sad. He he thought the unemployment for construction workers was like 20 percent around here. But we need to put people back to work. The housing industry used to be the biggest industry in the country, it employed millions of people, but it's down so far that you know all those guys are working for work someplace else. But you know if a guy wants, to, if people want to help us out, they need to go to johndavisforpresident.org. And we ask people to pray for us. We ask people to help us send petitions around. And we, and we ask for a little bit of money to fill the billboard here with the gas because it takes a lot of gas every day. I believe it. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. So you guys 